Hello everyone, it's Kelly here, and today I want to make this video about some of my Olympic Go fan art, like custom track, master models, motorized, they're called actually nowadays. If I was them, I would have just brought back the name track master because if you like that rogue, rogue off the tongue better than motorized. But anyway, let's just start talking about my models that I've made, which I don't know what one we'll start off with, but we'll probably start off with the very first one I made actually. Well, technically this one here is not my first one I made. Technically the first one I made was Custom Trackmaster Push Along Secret Agent Talk and Percy or Secret like you know Agent Double O Six and Agent Double uh not double O Agent number one and double six, but you know I accidentally forgot to charge my laptop and my old screen numb they died. My laptop died and when I plugged it back in hoping that it was still there. It didn't even save any of my work. That was fun. But anyway, let's just start talking about this one. This one is based on the episode Thomas Blast Off with the battery car when you have to deliver the tiny little tiny battery and it's for the rocket pretty much what they're building but as you can see here this is just the regular Thomas pack I've edited he's got a special face on him he's got a sort of sad face I was originally gonna do like you know Percy in the satellite but I thought maybe I would do Thomas in his battery but, yeah, so pretty much, other ones I'm planning to do before I continue this one, I'm planning on doing the biggest adventure club, Percy, like, you know, Percy's thing that he's wearing, and I'm also planning on doing some different facial expression characters with different trucks, and, yeah, so, pretty much, this is just a Thomas buff. A plain flatbed with the battery car. Sad face. He was originally going to have the, a determined angry look, but I scrapped that idea. I wanted to have a sad face one. And yeah, that's it just uh, in its box. Yeah, so let's just get another give it in its box. And yeah, the rest of them are not in their box. The rest of them are out of package prototype images. Let's go on to the second one. Now this next one I was planning on making the entire thing, like you know, a side view of it, like you know, sort of like you can see the side and the front of it if you know what I mean, but the side wasn't really that different so I just made it like that. This is agent number one, I think his name was in the episode, I can't remember, it's been a while since I've seen Watching to Deliver, but pretty much. In the episode, Thomas and Percy dress up in disguises at first, and then they go down to Sandy's, and Sandy makes the special attachment gear things. And yeah, Thomas looked like that. And yeah, originally, the stuff that had the gloop in it was going to have like the little nozzle. But I couldn't figure out how I could draw that, so you could have to look like that. Yeah, maybe I'll update that eventually. Also, as you can see here, he's also got the grey funnel, the big funnel thing that goes around it. And he puffs up his smoke. And that's the special signals. Also, I want to just point this out, but in the episode, Tosh says, Look out! Dinosaur in the track! And that was... I'm doing an example of the smoke signals, but why would you have to use a lookout dinosaur on the tracks one? Like, <laughs> really? But yeah, let's just continue on with this. He's got a little end of a broom brush thing. And yeah, he's also got the tire eyes. And yeah, that's Thomas. Now on to our next one. 
So this next one is Diesel. This one is the one from Jokes on Thomas. Originally, I was designing this for a pussy long pack, but I thought maybe it would be better as a motorised pack. With Diesel being covered in confetti, and that is the confetti car. But it's not. It's not just the regular old confetti car. It's the one that they named Grumble Kablamo in the episode. I wanted to use that one. And also, I don't know if you'll be able to tell from the pictures, but I wanted it to have this feature underneath it, like, you know, where you pull it along and, like, there's this special bit of track. And you know what I mean? Like, you know, this type of ones that turn cargo cars empty to full for the motorised trains and stuff? I was hoping they would do that, but apart from the lids would open up and a little tiny, like, it's not like an actual tube of confetti, but it's like a little cylinder shape would pop up with confetti printed on it. So it's not actually a real tube because I, d I don't think they would be able to make something like that. But it's just a little tube of, like, you know, cylinder tube shape with confetti that pops out of some book of Lamo's, like, you know, hats. And, yeah, Diesel's not looking too happy about it, as you can see here. But, yeah, I would have done them with the laughing face, but I feel like we've already got a face that resembles that, which is the one for the Soldier Cup Diesel, for Diesel when he's supporting for Lona and Frederico, and yes, I did see Soldier Cup. I saw it in English way before it was uploaded to YouTube, ho ho! But, yeah. That's Diesel with Gumbo Kablamo. And on to our next one. So, this is the second last one I've got here. This is our good friend Percival. And he's got a cargo car coupled up to him. But he's got a shocked face. And the cargo car is green paint, blue paint. And the racing stripes red. Orchid ladybug red, orchid caboose red, I don't know. We'll call it all three of them. So, this is obviously based in the episode of. What was it called? It's the real number one. It was called The Real Number One, it was called. Right, so, in the episode, Percy accident, like, not accidentally, but Percy goes onto the turntable, he's looking at his red, and he thinks it's out for. Ladybug Red or Caboose Red, which I actually thought he said Ladybug Red or Caboose, like Boost Red, which I had no idea what that word meant, but I later on found out he was saying Caboose Red. I should have put it onto subtitle center. And Thomas pretty much wants them to, like, you know, turn it into the turntable so everyone can see it at a better angle, but the turntable goes mad. And the paint, the ladybug red, caboose red, or the racing strike red, tub opens up and it's splats red paint everywhere. Diesel and Gordon dodging it, but Thomas get covered in the red paint. But the scene that I'm trying to base it off of, he doesn't have that exact face. I just wanted to draw it like that. But Percy's shocked because he's supposed to be spinning on the turntable you could either do that or you can make it when he first sees that Thomas is covered in paint and yeah also I want to point this out but the barrels do not look good for the paint I apologize for that but if these were the actual track master items I don't know how they would make them but I think they would probably make a, a sort of, just a cylinder shape. They don't have to open up or anything. I wasn't planning on making them open up. They were just like, ones with the printed details on them. Like just printed cylinders and they're removable in my one. And yeah. Now on to my all time favourite one. Because here's a secret I want to tell you all. 
So not only do I absolutely love All Engine School, it's one of my favourite shows. It's not as good as the original, it's not as good as the original, it'll never be as good as the original. I quite like All Engine School, but the original is going to be better. But, yeah, but this last one is based on my all-time favourite scene of All Engine School. And that scene, drum roll please, I can't be bothered to add in a drum roll. I've officially missed my delivery scene. Right. Now, the, I've officially missed my delivery scene. It's my all time favourite scene of all things go. The bit when he gets in his wheels and he's almost about to cry. That When I first saw that, I actually nearly cried myself. I felt so bad for the little guy. Like, the bit that annoys me most about that scene is the fact that he very quickly sears up. Like, He's only sad for eight seconds. Eight seconds? I would have, like, he, he can't have been that sad. Like, I would have made him upset for, like, maybe until he got to Vickerton. Like, instead of him hearing up by Diesel, like, Diesel reminds him that they would still want the lanterns, but it's shows a close up with Diesel. And then Diesel's eyes are the whole time while you've seen that. He opens his eyes and he notices that Thomas is gone. And. Thomas was actually going make, to make his delivery, still feeling upset. That's what I would have done. Also, in my opinion, the real number one is the all-time best episode of All Things Can Go. But anyway, let's go on to my model before there's no more time. Right, so... This one... Is, I got the base based in the bit when he's crouching down, ready to cry. And that's where I got the face from, and that's where I got the paint splat image from. I copied it from that. Also got the little dust and dirt on him. And before anyone points out, yes, I know. He he had like a bit of dirt on one of his whistles. But I didn't want to add that because I don't think they would put it on the whistle. I don't think they would print anything on the whistle. So I left it like that. And also Yes, I painted the bit on the inside of the wheel as well. The grey bit. Just because I wanted to make it look even better. And even though the paint, like the edit doesn't look very good. Because when I made it, everything just shifted a bit. At the back of it. And yeah. Also, the cargo car he's got is the lanterns. Which is just... I'm planning on making it, I don't know if you know this, but they're like these crates that you got with some of the older Trackmaster sets. Like, a few crates. Like, they were like the one cargo piece, like, you know, the coal and stuff. I'm trying to think what set did they come in. I don't know. I can't remember what set they came in, but I remember there were some crates. And one set, I think it was... Glenn that had them? I can't remember. But, like, I wanted them to look like that. And that's what he was carrying. And, yeah. I also gave it blue wheels because then the episode had blue wheels. And knowing Mattel nowadays, they're actually paying close attention to the detail, which I'm proud of you, Mattel. I'm happy. Like, yeah. So, thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe, subscribe if you want to, hopefully the comments are public, and yeah, I'm going to be making more A Link and Go fan art drawings once more episodes come out. Like, I might make, like, Thomas with, like, a shocked face pulling the light bulb from that one's art, but yeah.